So I had my uh, appointment with the liver surgeon today. Not a lot of hope came out of that meeting. Uh, he told me that uh, he can't do surgery because the number of lesions on their liver uh, and, and just how they're spread throughout the entire liver if it was, you know, if it was in just like one section, if it was in just like one section of the liver, then you could just like remove that section. But uh, because it's just like the entire thing, and because it's the entire thing, um, He can't do it. He can't cut out um, that much of my liver. I mean, it's just, it's everywhere. Something like 16 lesions, he said. So, uh, we talked options. There's only really two. Uh, the first one is called a uh, hepatic arterial infusion pump. Um, that's a pump to, uh, implanted directly below my liver. And um, that's, that's more chemo. Um, a lot more chemo. Directly injected into the liver. And uh, he said that they normally do that along with regular chemo. So it's likely that I'm going to get more of that too. He said that uh, he doesn't normally recommend this because normally he's able to just cut out the, the lesions. Uh, he talked about another possibility, which I mentioned in a previous video, uh, radiation therapy. Uh, these would be microscopic radiation beads, basically injected uh, directly into the liver, uh, and they would sort of lodge themselves in uh, the capillaries and then slowly re release the radioactive material uh, directly into the liver. He is recommending the uh, infusion pump. He said that that would be uh, that I would that I would probably benefit the most from that. He went on to talk about the uh, survival rates for people with uh, stage four colon cancer, which I quoted it back to him. I know it by heart now. Uh, Eleven to twelve percent survival rate with a life expectancy of two to five years. And he said that um, with the chemo, um, we can look at, uh, we can see like a slight, he called it a slight uh, increase in, in the survival. Not a lot of hope came out of his voice. And there's a lot of unknowns, too many unknowns. I asked him, you know, well, will, will this will this our infusion pump uh, get the lesions down to the point where you can operate? And he said, I don't know. Uh, I asked if the if the chemo would be as intensive as what I've been experiencing before, and he said, I don't know. I mean, he just he just kept saying I don't know about a lot of things and. I couldn't help myself. I said, you don't know a lot. And he said, that's not really fair to say. And I got mad. I didn't show it. I didn't say anything negative. But I was so mad. I'm still mad. I'm really tired of this. I'm really tired of people jerking me around where First, my, my colon surgeon is telling me, no, you're going to be on chemo for the rest of your life. And, uh, 
and it's going to suck. And then, and then my oncologist is like, well, no, that, that's not entirely true. Uh, we're going to stop chemo, and then we'll, we'll see about su surgical uh, options. And then, you know, we're going to get to the point where the uh, the tumor in your colon is inert, and uh, we'll we'll take care of the liver, and you know, and then you'll just you'll just take medication for the for the tumor, and and you'll be fine. And now this guy is saying, well, no, this this is still probably going to kill you, but we can slightly increase your lifespan and you'll be miserable the entire time. That's not living, that's surviving. And, and that is exactly what I don't want. It's what I've never wanted, is to just be clawing at life the entire way through, desperately holding on while feeling like shit warmed over and I don't know I'm just I'm so I'm just so tired of these unknowns I just I wish somebody would just give me a definitive answer yes you're gonna be fine no you're gonna die one of those just fucking pick one and go with it I'm really tired of this. I wasn't naive enough to think that it was over when chemo ended. But I honestly thought that I saw a light at the end of the tunnel. I don't know now. I don't know what to think now. Anyway, uh, so he's going to talk to the oncologist, and um, there's a place I would have to go down in um, down in uh, New York City uh, to uh, look into this this infusion pump. So uh, I guess I'll hear back from them in the next few days, and we'll take it from there. I don't know how to feel right now. Hope is so fragile. It really is. It's, I'm trying to hold on to that. I am, I am really trying to hold on to the hope that I, that I've felt for the past few weeks now. But everything this guy said, it was just, it was so hopeless. It was so without any real light at all. So now, I don't know. I'll update again soon, as soon as I know more. And uh, we'll go from there. Until next time.